what is going on guys welcome back to the channel i uh, hope you enjoyed the little teaser clip there you'll get to see a lot more running action of this truck here later after the overview guys sorry for being gone so long and not making a video in a while uh, i recently started a new day job and have been getting tons and tons of orders through the etsy shop which i cannot thank each and every one of you who have ordered a product from me enough it's been an absolute blessing and i've really been enjoying that process so regardless I was very busy, a little bit out of touch with the hobby and just uh, just fulfilling orders and working my day job. So I decided I needed a new project. And that's where this comes into play. So this is actually a Big Country Toys um, toy model of a Chevy 3500 Duramax Dually. And I found it on Amazon and I thought, well, it says it's 120th scale, but I think we can make this work. So one thing that I was super excited about once I got it in the mail is the wheelbase. You can see the SCX24 wheelbase is in fact just about right for this truck. Pair that with some of my 3D printed dually wheels and we are looking great. So guys, I'm gonna give you a rundown of this truck. I know you're all excited to see that. I'm then gonna give you a rundown of the trailer because there's been some modifications to that too. So let's dive right into it. So, Starting out with this truck, the body is attached with some nice Velcro, um, the hook lock stuff, I don't know what you call it technically, but let's take a look at what's underneath first. So this monstrosity, I posted a little teaser earlier this week, which I'm sure a lot of you guys saw as a channel post, and yes, that's what this was for. So what we did is we had the old C10 dually that you've seen in my previous videos and we designed a whole stretch kit for it because clearly the wheelbase on this is much, much longer than your standard SCX24. So I had to stretch this whole rear end 73 millimeters back. And what I did to do that is I 3D printed some chassis extensions you see up here, a uh, nice little body mounting plate and somewhere to mount the shocks to. And then we just printed these massively long links in the rear end here, running up long here, still a four linked rear end. Also, I had to figure out something to do with the drive shaft. So what I did is I cut a stock drive shaft in half and 3D printed this extended collar, and then I glued either half in either end of that drive shaft, and it performs a lot better than I thought it would. Um, I had to try a couple different sizes for the links. It took me about three tries to get those right. And then for the front end, it's all a stock C10 front end. All I did was relocate the shocks from up here to down here just to help hide as much of this chassis up underneath this body and make it as scale as possible. So that's the rundown of the rig here. We got a stock SCX24 ESC. Um, I did end up putting the RGT Barrage motor in here this morning. Uh, I decided to do that because I thought the stock motor was dying, but it turns out just the battery is dying. Regardless, this thing can take all the torque that this motor will give. So we're gonna leave that in there for now while we decide if we're gonna go brushless or not on this setup. Now we'll move on to the fun part. So here is the body. The body comes with a little toy truck chassis underneath it and all the black parts that you see, such as the bumpers and this um, engine cooling shroud, they come chrome. So what I did immediately is, what's really nice about this is all the bumpers are removable. So there's three screws up here and two screws back here that allow you to remove the bumpers. So I was able to pull those off and paint them up just how I liked um, so painted them black really like the look of that just kind of a murdered out truck if you will You know, we don't want any chrome on this thing. I don't I don't like that look So once I did that I was really happy with how it looked and then once I got the chassis all straightened away and got the body figured out and how I was gonna mount that I really wanted to get some more lights on this thing. So this is just a generic RC uh, 12 LED light kit and I drilled holes where the actual lights would be Then you can see the mess of wiring I have in here which this one servo wire or this one uh, receiver wire, this provides power to this lighting kit. And it's also just an extension for the auxiliary channel, which comes out the bed here and then plugs into the trailer for the servo operation of the dovetail. So that works out excellent. There's a little button here. This allows you, allows you to change the mode of the lights and let it strobe or anything else like that. So that's a ton of fun. Um, and also stock the uh, the bed and the chassis are two separate pieces so I had to epoxy those together because the the old toy frame normally would hold those in place 
You can also see that I had to do some cutouts in the rear bed here. Um, I wanted to get the bed as low as possible, like I said. I didn't want it to look like it had a body lift on it or just the, you know, everything be off. So what I did is I cut these holes and the rear suspension will actually stick slightly up through those holes and into the bed to allow the body to sit low enough. These uh, toy trucks, they come with this little receiver, like a gooseneck, and um, that's because they, they sell gooseneck trailers to go with these toys. I didn't get one of those. Mine's fully 3D printed, but I did print a little adapter ball for my own gooseneck trailer that I printed. That's about the rundown of the body. I am super excited with how this project turned out, guys. After seeing the Sen Racing F450 in the 10th scale, I really wanted to make a 24 scale version, and I'm a Chevy guy, so super happy I got to do that. Really happy with how this project turned out. Now, to dive into the trailer breakdown of this video, because I know a lot of you guys want to see that. So we'll get this thing out of the way here, and we'll pull the trailer up. So you guys have seen my trailer previously on this channel, and this is kind of the same trailer. The trailer was printed in segments because my 3D printer is only so big. So this front goosenecks one segment, first segment stops there, second segment stops there, third, and of course the dropping dovetail. So what I did is I made this modular when I initially designed it because I wanted to be able to add more length. So I simply printed this piece right here and I added it in there. Uh, this wood deck is just made out of simple paint stirring sticks. I want to do some more sanding to it because it's a little rickety right now, but then again, kind of adds to the scale look of it. Um, the most exciting part about this though has to be the dropping dovetail. So. I've had a couple of guys ask about it, and the way this works is we just have a little Emacs ES08MD2 uh, servo back here, and then this link arm, right? So this back part of this trailer is just on a hinge, and when that servo actuates, it's going to be pushing forward and backwards on this linkage, which pulls up and down then. So when we go ahead and hook that up through here, through the body like I showed you, to the auxiliary channel on the stock SCX24 ESC, we have that three position switch that will put the trailer here on position one. It'll let it sit right around here on position two, not quite touching the ground. And then position three, it'll be touching the ground and actually lifting the wheels off the ground a little bit. I really wish there was endpoint adjustment on those radios for the third channel, but at this point in time, it does what it needs to and I am happy with it. Um, that's about it for this trailer, just some servo extensions, a ton of 3D printed parts, some of the stock C10 wheels, and then of course our dovetail dropper. So now let's take a look at some more running clips of this thing and I hope you guys enjoy. Well guys, that's it for today's video. Again, I hope you really enjoyed this content. I know I sure enjoyed making it. Building this truck really brought me back into the spirit of the hobby, if you will. 
you know, turning this into a side job for myself, it can be easy to, you know, for it to lose that spark. But every time I start a new project and, and I'm able to create something just like this, it just revives that spark for me. So I really enjoyed this project. Again, I will be pushing videos as often as I can. I'm not going to make any promises as of when. But once some snow gets fallen, we're definitely going to be doing more videos with the track vehicles and, of course, the new Duramax, as well as all the others and just having some fun out in the snow. So thanks again for stopping by. If you guys enjoyed this content, leave a like, subscribe to the channel if you want to see more like this, and I hope you all have a great day. Thanks.